so welcome to your monthly taroscope. Yes, I'm doing things a bit differently. If you're looking for your pure astrology video, that is coming and that will be just astrology. I'm going to separate them, tarot from astrology, although I have to say, as well as being a tarot reader and a psychic, I am an astrologer fundamentally and so I may be drawing a little bit of the wisdom of the astrology of this month within my tarot reading. Now remember, this is a general reading. If I was to give you a psychic tarot reading, it would be super specific to you. It would talk about the ins and outs and details of your personal and intimate relationships, past, present and future. But this is generic. So it may be for you. There may symbolically be things that you relate to. It may connect to you on a synchronistic level and there may be great truths here for you but it is general and yes it is for your sun sign your moon sign or your rising sign let's go hi gorgeous pisces how are you doing oh my goodness this is such an intense month for you it's essential to go and check out your astrology video might not be up for a couple of days but we have all sorts going on. We have Mercury, the planet of communication, retrograde in your sign. We have a new moon in your sign and Uranus is shifting into a new area for you. Has been that area since 1942. So do check that out. Be interesting. I'm really, really interested to see what the tarot says for you because, wow, you know, there's so much energy in your sign and potential and change and oh, all sorts. So let's see if the tarot backs it up. Okay, Pisces. Pisces, what's going on for you, Pisces, in March? Pisces. Deep, sensitive Pisces. Let's see. Pisces, March. Okay, Pisces, let's check it out. Oh, that's good. Hold on. Some big changes coming up for you, Pisces. Oh, this is fabulous. The outcome is brilliant. Okay, great. Let's start at the beginning. The first card is the devil, which is the heart of the month. Now, what is the devil? The devil is, I always call it the sex and drugs and rock and roll card. It's the card about addictions. You know, like when we give our power away in relationships or we fantasize about someone or we're in a kind of chemical attraction and we can't release ourselves. You know, maybe the drinking, smoking, I don't know, anything, anything, eating, whatever, something you turn for comfort to that you know is no good for you, or just one of those delicious relationships that's like an obsession, it's very difficult to let go of. Well, the good news is you've got victory uh, covering that, so there is a chance to overcome that, to succeed, to win, to transform that energy. Now, whenever I talk about the devil card, if you look at the card, if I bring it up, everything goes out of focus, so I can't show you. But if you look at the Rider Waite card online, you'll see that the chains are actually really low down. Those people can rip off those chains and run like the wind to the exit uh, and escape that addiction. Normally, addictions are, you know, it, it's stuff that we can deal with eventually when we get to it. But it's, it's you know, do you take the comfort of the addiction or do you move forward? The devil is saying... Okay, I'm sitting here at the centre of this reading, but victory is crossing you. You are riding off away from that energy into glory because your outcome is... I'm so tempted to say your outcome now because it's so great. But let's, let's take it one step at a time. What is beneath you is the Ace of Wands. You have your passion back for life. You have this intense desire and actual knowledge that you can succeed uh, and, and succeed an achievement. I find it's very dif different to the Ace of Pentacles, which is about financial achievement, materialistic achievement. The Ace of Wands is about your passion. It's about abundance. It's about a, a whole different vibe. And it, and it awakens us and it, it energizes us. And you've got that deep within your soul. There has been a financial shift around you. There may be some issues about where you're living, but those changes uh, are on the side. Right in front of you, in your immediate future, there's a big change. Life, death, rebirth. You've got the death card in your the first two weeks. But 
immediately that that big change happens, you've got the magician. That is really good news. Because <clears throat> it's basically, it's a new cycle. And right there, uh, did that blur? <laughs> right there, you have within your hands, almost like a magic wand, what you think you can create, what you believe gets the ball rolling. You, you've got all the tools you need to create your reality and to have this new start and to move forwards. And actually, the unexpected offers and opportunities coming to you, but you're in charge. You're not feeling that you have to take it because you're desperate to take it. You're like, mm, well, do I want to take this or not? Uh, and you're moving forward, moving forward, moving forward. There may be something, I mean, I have to say the only, well, negative is the wrong word, the only challenging energy here is around your home and family vibe. And you're kind of, um, there may be some worry about something around your home or something to do with your family. You feel a bit trapped when it comes to your environment. But again, that's going to shift. You've also got a, a change where new friendships are coming towards you. Yes, there's a part of you that may uh, need your space. If you find people are being frivolous or people are being superficial, you might go, God, you know what, I can't deal with this because there's so much powerful energy around you at the moment. If people are being gossipy or small-minded or, or annoying and superficial, you may sort of become the queen of swords and cut off from their energy and go into being a bit of a hermit. But you know what, don't worry. You know, mix with the people that have the same vibration or a vibration that you admire because um, then you catch that energy. But you're much happier though. You're happier when you make the decision to follow your light. You've then got the Ace of Cups and the Wish Card. Now your outcome is astonishing. You've got the Wheel of Fortune, which for me, <clears throat> excuse me, always means uh, something, I'm not fatalistic in any way, shape or form with astrology or with the tarot, but there are certain things in life that are meant to happen. Certain little things, you know, when the, when the wheel of life changes slightly, maybe because we meet someone, it may be we decide to go on a different path and there's a fork in the road. Something like that is coming your way this month. And then straight after, you've got this fantastic card, which is the Eight of Wands, which is all about shooting forwards. Right away calls the, called these the arrows of love. It's just like this... Whoo, you know, amazing news coming to you, you're shifting forward in some way, and the final card you have is the sun. Joy, happiness, reconnecting to pleasure, reconnecting with your happiness, having fun just for the sake of it, being warm and generous, and, and you feel that you are expanding in your love um, and, and in your life. There may be things that you're thinking about to do with the past, it may even be that because of the energy that's coming up, at the moment, you might be thinking about your father or a man, a masculine energy that had a, a very big impact on you. But you're going through a process of healing and you're feeling like, you know what, this is the new now and I'm ready to leap forward. The final card for you is the full. Well, before that, we had the nine of pentacles. So you're feeling much more secure in yourself. You're feeling so secure in yourself that you can take these leaps of faith. You can move forward just with an inner knowing that you're going to succeed. Do bear in mind that Mercury is retrograde in your sign. So there may be miscommunications, misunderstandings, uh, a sense of being, you know, overthinking things, feeling a bit paranoid, oversensitive, uh, or getting some information and overanalyzing it. Or maybe someone says something to you or you say something to them and it all gets lost in translation. Watch out for that because Mercury retrograde in your sign is a pain in the ass. Fortunately... All of this looks fabulous. And don't forget, you have a new moon in your sign, which is always a new beginning. Uh, so you are becoming the magician and starting a new cycle again. Sounds amazing. Anyway, I send you so much love. Do visit me on Instagram, at Michelle Knight, M-I-C-H-E-L-E, Knight. Uh, it's much more intimate. I do daily tarot and, you know, I, I love it. So come and say hi there. And go to horoscope.co.uk for your free compatibility charts, etc. And um, obviously, I'd love it if you liked, shared, or commented. Take care, gorgeous soul, and I'll speak to you soon.